Uh, so for today, we're talking mostly cloudy skies, maybe a p.m. shower with temperatures in the mid 50s. By the time we get into Wednesday, uh, we are looking at uh, generally partly cloudy to partly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid 50s. But I want to show you what the winds look like. These are the wind speeds from the forecast model. We'll start this at 6 p.m. We're not going to feel much wind on Wednesday itself, but I want to start the forecast model around the dinner hour. You can see these bigger, whiter numbers are the two minute sustained wind speed in mile per hour. The G numbers are the gust and the arrows represent the flow. So not much going on around the dinner hour on Wednesday, but watch what happens as we go through the overnight hours Wednesday into early Thursday morning. The colors start to ramp up. Those colors, those warm tones are tied to the wind speed. So the hotter it gets on this map, really the stronger the wind speeds is basically it's, it's almost like a cautionary thing. As we look at uh, our wind speeds at 6 a.m. on Thursday, we've got sustained winds coming in out of the uh, southeast at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then watch these colors really light up by the time we work to around uh, the noon hour on Thursday. We've got widespread gusty winds sustained at about uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour with uh, some gust up around 35 or 40. Sometimes these forecast models actually underestimate things and that may be what's going on here. But know that Thursday is going to be a windy day, a fairly a strong windy day here. And then as we go through the remainder of Thursday into Thursday evening, uh, those wind speeds still at about uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. So again, that's for Wednesday. We'll feel the core of those strongest winds as we get into Thursday morning and probably through about early to maybe uh, mid Thursday afternoon. Speaking of Thursday, along with that wind, well, we're going to see the PM rain showers develop. It's not going to rain all day, but it is going to be mild. Temperatures are going to be up here probably uh, around 61 degrees or into the low 60s is what it looks like. If we look at a timetable, we've got windy mild with rain developing for Thursday. Then as we go into Friday, colder, breezy, rain and snow showers on Friday, and then a few rain and snow showers as we get into this weekend. So that's kind of the way the timetable will unfold. That certainly is evident in our seven day forecast. There's the cold, breezy conditions with scattered rain showers or maybe some snowflakes that mix in there and more in the way or at least better chances of rain and snow showers as we get into Saturday and Sunday and Monday. I will tell you this, by the time we get into Saturday, you may be wondering, are we going to see an accumulating snow? Well, from Friday into Friday night and Saturday, our forecast models putting out maybe about an inch or two on grassy accumulations. Uh, I don't think it's going to stick to the pavement because the pavement's a little bit warm, but there may be snow coming in as we get into Sunday and into Monday where that some of that could stick. But just know that there's a huge pattern shift and a pattern change coming with sharply colder temperatures. That is a look at your mid-Michigan forecast. Make it a great day, everybody. I'm Fox meteorologist Kevin Craig.